In this segment of PCTV, we're going to look at some indispensable applications that you should really have on your computer to make your computing a little bit easier. So the first one we're going to do is called Download Accelerator Plus. Now what that is, it's a download manager that helps you to download things faster by opening up different ports to allow you to download the file over five different ways. So it actually increases the speed by 500%. So now this one's called Download Accelerator Plus, and if we go to... Google and type in DAP then it comes up straight away and it says right here it's free I mean it's a free download manager so that you just click download free version all right now during the download and the installation there's a lot of things that it wants to try to install on top which is just basically bloatware so deselect things like the toolbar deselect things like speed bit accelerator deselect other things that you don't really need and just get the download accelerator and then when you do do that what it allows you to do is download things fast. So if I wanted to download this from the Mars site, yep. Cool. So we'll so save that there. Save it there. Now what happens is Download Accelerator Plus opens up, and it shows it like down downloading. I wanted to see it. There you go. Now you got all five. As you can see, it opens up four concurrent connections and downloads them at all at the same time. So it's actually so much faster than what you would normally expect from a single download that only opens one port and downloads it that way. It's just, um, especially if downloads, if your broadband connection is um, small or if, if you don't have much in terms of a data uh, allowance for your monthly stuff, then this is really indispensable. Australia, compared to the world at the moment, does have generally slower internet speeds. Yeah. So something like this can be useful. Definitely. Hmm. So now this is using, because this is using a wireless connection at the moment, it's necessarily a little bit slower than your normal broadband that's connected through the wall on your telephone. So that's why it's going a little bit slower. But as you can see, if we were just doing one portal, then you'd have to, it would take five times as long. Hmm. Not too bad. Yeah. For my pick of indispensables, yeah. I'd like to look at VLC Media Player. Sure. VLC me Media Player, would, is sometimes considered not required because Windows comes with its own player called Media Player. And I'll show you that one now. We'll just put this down here. Sure. So Windows Media Player comes standard with Windows and it'll play all your music and general movie formats and so forth quite well. However, there's a lot of different formats of video, uh, particularly video and some audio, that Windows doesn't support by default. So you'll try and play that video and it, it won't, won't work. work. VLC Media Player is a free player that uh, was brought out by a company called VideoLAN. And it's very fast, it's very light. It, and it uh, plays just about and everything. And it plays just about everything there is. Uh, it relies on what's called a codec. That is the, uh, the attribute that allows it to decode those files and make it an image and audio on the screen. So VLC, I think, is fantastic very very fast it's got some options for configuration but mostly you just leave it to do what it wants to do sure and what did we we had something to watch here that one this one yep oh here's a promo for one of our friends uh, shows so as you can see it plays any kind of media whatsoever and again very very light on the resources it's not a heavy application it doesn't tend to crash I find it excellent, and it's a very, very good price. Yeah, being free. Being free. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our indispensables for this week, and we will continue to give you as many other applications that we consider indispensable in every further episode that we do.